Hi viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel, More Light TV. Welcome. Uh, I remain your host, More Liar. If you are yet subscribed, please kindly click on the subscribe button. So I want us to quickly look at um, this Tinubu's um, speech when he was talking about the democracy, how he fought for our democracy, how he went to exile, saying that some of us were not born when he was on the street fighting for our democracy to return to Nigeria, talking about some of us were still wearing diaper, you know, when he was busy fighting for our democracy and all of that, that some of us don't know about the story and that is why some of us are clamoring for um, another leader that is different from him, you know, saying that he holds, holds the responsibility to enlighten us about how he fought for democracy and things like that. But to be honest, is he really fighting for our democracy or is fighting for Bola Crazy for power? Because Bola Crazy is so crazy for power that you would think that in the way he sees power, he sees power as his entitlement is right as if he is the only one that is entitled to govern us in Nigeria. I want you to listen to this video and I want you to watch so many instances of him even um, showing the trait of a dictator. We could see an example in Lagos, the way he handles politics in Lagos. Could that be a, a true democracy? No, no, no. I don't think this is democracy. This is more bolacracy. So I want you to watch the video. Enjoy it. Bye. The country is ours. And the passport that you are holding, until you go to exile, until you, 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 I hope you will never again face the goons like I did. The usurpers, the military goons that petrol bombed my house and chased me out of this country and locked me up. I took the book's path. I escaped them. Continue my trouble. was strong determination. We got our democracy back. Here you are. You have democracy. Some of you were not born when you were running the street. Some of you were third glass. You can't remember what we did. You can't understand why. But it is our responsibility and civic duty to remind you that democracy that we have chosen, that we have subscribed to, is not easy. But it's the best system of governance that is available to humanity. I don't want dictatorship. Political dynasty, on the other hand, is a group of people either from the same political family lineage or from a political class or from the same group of people or the same carcass that are trying to be in power perpetually, a succession of the same set of people, you know, in power or in government. These are referred to as political dynasties. Now, when you see the rotation or the succession of the same political class or the same political group of people rotating themselves in power, you know, it's like recycling of the whole set of people, the whole hands or the carcasses, the cabal, that is what is being referred to as political dynasty. So let's take an example of political parties in Nigeria, the APC and the PDB. What do you think about these political parties? Because if you dissect them and you look at them holistically, you will realize that these are no longer political parties, but political dynasty. If you look at the APC party itself, you realize that it's just a group 
of some people who are loyal to Godfather and you know it's where the Godfather says that stands if the Godfather does not approve of him or her they cannot become a candidate to contest for an election as a matter of fact the candidate to represent the people at all the primaries whether in at state level at local level or even at the federal level are usually predetermined by these godfathers now the presidential elections are approaching in nigeria and we can see what is happening you can see that even at the primaries for this presidential election these political entrepreneurs that is what i call them you know because they are out into politics to make money to enrich themselves they see it as a business center as a very cool through which they can amass wealth to themselves. And now you realize that these political entrepreneurs already have a predetermined candidate that they want to put forward as a presidential candidate. So we can say that it's also their caucus determining who should represent the people. And in a true democracy, the people should be the one to vote for who will represent them at all levels but in this case is one man calling the shot is one man sitting somewhere in bodyland and saying oh this is the person i want to be in power you know that is no longer a democracy and now even he himself is coming out to contest for the presidential election so are we saying he does not have a right as a citizen of nigeria to contest no but we are simply saying that we know the motive because this is a man that has been a senator in the past he has been a governor of a state for eight years he put his wife again in the senate and now he himself is trying to contest for the president who so are we saying that in the APC party we do not have more competent people who are brighter, more intelligent than the Ashiwaju Ahmed Tinubu that is being put forth as the presidential candidate of APC. Are we saying he's the best of us? Are we saying he's the brightest of us? Are we saying he's the most honorable man among us? Are we saying that we do not have better candidates who are fit to do the job other than Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Another thing I see about these political parties who have made themselves into political dynasty is that they see it as their right to gain power. They see it as their right to rule the people. And this can be perceived in their speeches. You know, when they are being interviewed, for example, when um, Ashura Jibola Ahmed Tinubu is being interviewed, you need to see the way he speaks. For example, he will be saying things like Mibukon, trying to tell us that it is his bad right to rule the people. He, it is his entitlement to be in power and to reign and rule over the people. Now, should this be the kind of leader or a president that we want in power? You know, someone with a sense of entitlement that does not respect the opinion of the people and feel, oh, you guys can't really take decision about who to lead you or who to be your president. I will impose myself on you. It has become a dominant thing. Come 2023, whether you Nigerians like it or not, I will become the president. <music>